Alrighty, so today we're going to uh, have a quick look at uh, adding teleport to our virtual camera in virtual reality. So this will be a great way for just jumping around the scene, um, and it's not very motion sickening like uh, some other VR locomotion methods. <clears throat> so it sounds like it would be a complicated task, but it's actually quite simple because we are stealing it from something else. Uh, so what you want to do is, um, rather than jump into our VR camera stuff, uh, we're going to create a new project. Uh, it's going to be games, and we're going to use the virtual reality template. Um, and as you can see here in the photo, it actually does, it has teleport, and so that's where we're taking teleport from. Uh, so go ahead and create it, and I'm just going to call it VR template. Uh, template. Uh, and then we can begin. Alright, so we are in the VR template now. Um, uh, I do uh, sort of advise, have a look around. It is a great template. Uh, to use. It's got quite a lot of, um, <clears throat> well, it's quite, quite a great starting point for VR projects, uh, games and stuff. Um, and so if we have a look at the motion controller map, uh, if you play this, you'll see it's got teleport and um, picking up the cubes. Um, however, we don't, you know, I've already figured out which blueprints are for that. Um, so it's under virtual, oh my gosh, uh, so it's under virtual reality blueprint here, uh, and then under blueprints, and so we just want the motion controller pawn and the BP motion controller. Um, and so if we click on both of those and then right click them, and then under asset actions, uh, you can migrate, which will transfer those to a different program project. Uh, so it'll show you everything it needs to migrate for these to work properly. Just hit OK. Uh, and then we're going to choose uh, the VR camera system we've been working on and then the content folder. And we're just going to put that in there. Uh, and it takes about 30 seconds. And then so that's all we need for this uh, VR template. So you can go ahead and close this. You can delete it. Don't need it anymore. But uh, yeah, do have a play around with it as it's uh, you know, quite a quite a good start for a video game. Alrighty, so now we're back in this project, you'll see we uh, have two new folders, uh, the virtual reality and virtual reality BP, uh, and then in here contains the motion controller and motion controller uh, pawns, or actors, whatever you want to call them, uh, that we need. So what we're going to do is we're going to, oh, I've already done this from my testing, but so we, we were using this VR um, pawn here. Um, you can go ahead and delete that in the world now. Um, you can delete that in the outliner as well if you'd like. We don't need that anymore. Uh, so we are going to be using the one in here. We're going to be using this motion controller pawn. So just drag it in uh, and copy it like that. Uh, line them up and then uh, drop the attach the CG element and the camera to it like we were doing before. Like that. Now we have to, uh, we're going to slim this down a bit because it contains some stuff we don't need. But before they do that, we're going to add some inputs. Oh. Project settings, input. Alrighty. So you need to add these inputs. Um, you can change the buttons if you'd like. Um, for teleport, this setup, um, unlike Robo Recall, where you just sort of push the stick and then let go and it'll teleport, um, and requires a push down on a button. Um, so I've just had to push down on the thumbstick. It's quite, it's an easy action, uh, in my opinion. And then we just need, under the axes mappings, we need the uh, thumbstick X and thumbstick Y for teleporting. Um, depending on what controller you want to do, it will depend on which ones um, for that you do. Alrighty, so what we need to do next is grab, open the motion controller pawn. Um, and so we're going to start by uh, getting rid of a few things. So um, first is the grabbing. We don't need any of that, so just hit delete. Um, next is uh, we can get rid of the left teleport rotation because we also don't need that. Delete and then put the event tick. Uh, just connect it up like that. Alrighty, so these, uh, we can also get rid of the left teleport because we don't, we're just using the right controller. Uh, and so now we need to call our action, which we call teleport. Here it is, action event. And so I'm going to replace uh, this one it came with, with this one like that. Delete. 
And then down here under the teleport rotation, we need to again get our uh, the axes values for the X and Y for our teleport that we set up before and Y. Um, X is right, Y is Y to the sky, like that. Uh, so that's pretty much all the cleaning up in this blueprint uh, we will be doing. So compile and save. You should be able to compile it with no errors. Now, under the motion controller one, so uh, do not you do not drag this motion controller into the world because this uh, blueprint spawns it. See up here, spawn and attach motion controllers. So in this one, uh, we are going to start by removing everything under room scale. Um, as we do not need that, and everything under grabbing. Delete and delete. Uh, and then we are going to remove, uh, so we, we don't want to update the, we're actually going to remove the hand, so we don't need to update the animation of it. Um, we also do not need the hand to collide with the environment when we pick things up because we deleted all the picking up stuff. So event tick can just go straight into this teleportation arc. Uh, and then we can get rid of the rumbling here because that is also for grabbing things. And this should compile with an error. Oh, there is, here it is. Uh, so we're calling a function that no longer exists. So we just bypass that as well, like so. And now we can compile and save that without errors. Alrighty. One more thing <laughs> that I am really s didn't do. So on the motion controller pawn, we have to say that it auto possesses the player. Zero. That was why that was happening. Now when I play it, we get, oh, there, ta-da. So this is a great start. We've got the hand tracking just fine. Um, and the teleport button works. Um, we'll get into uh, how teleporting works a bit more in a second. Uh, but now we need our camera to attach to it. So, way we do that is uh, pretty much the way we did it last in the uh, simpler version of this. Uh, so we're going to start by creating a new variable, and we're going to call that our tracked camera. Uh, we're going to make it a cine camera actor uh, object reference. And we are going to tick the weird eyeball to make it public. Uh, and so we're going to get that. Uh, we are also going to get the right controller that is already down in here. <coughs> and then it's simple as, uh, so we want to get relative transform. Uh, well, relative transform. Um, what we get it of it doesn't matter. Uh, now on the right controller, what we're going to do is drag out from it and do a get motion controller like that. And so that'll get the motion controller inside this uh, blueprint, um, which obviously we want to get the relative transform for. And then we want a set relative location and rotation. Again, it doesn't matter what we grab because we're going to delete that. Uh, and then we are going to grab the track camera and we're just going to convert it to its root component, which is fine. Uh, and then we're going to drag off this return value and break it and then plug the transform and the rotation into this one. Like so. The very last thing we need to do is drag that all the way down to the bottom here. I think it's this one. Yep. Uh, to this event tick. And we're just going to drag it out a bit and plug it into this and then plug that back into that. That, compile, save. <clears throat> now, uh, the last thing we need to do is go into our motion controller pawn and set the trapped camera for our public variable. Now, if we play it, we should get the camera trapped. Critical error is low. That is okay. And voila, and then we have teleport. And then the controller's battery is low. Um, that's interesting how it's frozen like that. But as you saw for a split second, it is working. So we've got one or two more, more housekeeping things um, left. Uh, so what I want to do is I don't like 
um, personal preference, I don't actually like the hand showing through the camera. Um, so uh, for that, I'm just going to go down and hit hidden in game, uh, which is easy for that. Alrighty, so the last thing we're going to look at is how the uh, teleportation works. Uh, so the teleportation in Unreal uses uh, its navigation system, which is sort of a universal system for things like AI and what have you um, in Unreal. Um, and it uses this to see if where you're pointing the teleport ring, if that is a valid teleportation distance uh, uh, location. Um, and so the way we can visualize that is under the show and it's just down here under navigation I actually already have it turned on um, so when you turn it on you'll probably see nothing uh, that's because we have to tell Unreal to generate a uh, navigation mesh so if we just type in the um, actors for nav uh, we'll see a nav mesh bounds volume so we just drag that in straight away you'll see uh, this little bit's gone green because it is a uh, valid teleportation. So we just stretch that out a bit to cover our scene. Uh, go out a bit further and across like that. There you go. So green, all the green areas are places we can teleport to. Uh, when you are placing it, make sure it's underneath the floor as well. Otherwise, it won't actually find it. So if you have it too high up, uh, you know, it's not going to find it, so make sure it's down a bit, like that. And so now, uh, we'll be able to teleport to all the green arrows. Uh, now this isn't a game, uh, so th this, you know, the ability to not teleport where these um, chairs are may sort of impact what you're doing. Um, and so we can simply turn off objects that contribute to the uh, the navigation building. Uh, if we just click on them and in the details panel search for nav, uh, there's this under collision, there's can affect, can ever affect navigation. And we turn that off as you see, uh, we, it'll then build the uh, navigation volume through it. So we can just turn that off for all the objects and like that, and now we can teleport everywhere. And so that's all you have to do for your levels and that'll just save, we can turn it back off like that and so now we can teleport around so we'll uh, give that a test so just have to replace the batteries but now we have our camera uh, and as you can see here we can now uh, teleport around the map and then i just let go of it like that so you can still film teleport behind it so behind there we go you get a reverse shot I guess, actually that's probably breaking the 180 degree rule, but yeah, now we can teleport around the world. So, you know, we've just added a value amount of, just increased the value of um, our VR camera system a lot with this, you know, because now we can navigate a world and, uh, you know, find that perfect shot of, like so. Awesome.